For those who haven't had a chance to read the book, uh, I'll give you a quick background on the story. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a true story, and it's based upon my two dads. My real dad was the head of education for the state of Hawaii, a uh, very smart man. Um, he was the boss and things like that when I was in school. And my rich dad was my best friend's father. And my best friend's father was a man who didn't finish school. He dropped out of school at age 13, but ultimately became one of the richest men in the state of Hawaii. Self-made, did it on his own, and stuff like that. So Rich Dad, Poor Dad is a true story of what two fathers tell their two sons, my best friend and I, about the subject of money. And as the sub or the positioning statement of the book says, what the rich teach their kids about money that the poor middle class do not. And as we all know, for the most part, we learn very little to nothing about the subject of money in school. And uh, so what we learn about money oftentimes is handed down from parent to child. And those are the ideas that we have relative to the subject of money. So um, my rich dad was a man who, when you, he was my best friend's father, like I said, when you look at the white sand beaches of Waikiki and the hula girls and the palm trees, my rich dad was the guy that owned the land underneath the hotels. And my poor dad, I mean, I call him my poor dad, although he was a high paid government official, and I do mean high paid, he made a lot of money. In fact, he made much more money as far as a salary and paycheck goes than my rich dad. And so the story is really what the, my rich dad taught me as compared to my poor dad. And so what we're going to be going over today are some additional um, ideas and thoughts and information that may assist you in getting wealthier, easier, quicker. How many people would like to get wealthier, easier, and quicker? Good. <laughs> Thank you. So in contrasting them, most of us have heard, like my poor dad, very middle class man, I mean, smart man, but he had middle class ideas when it came to money and values. And he always said, son, our house is an asset and it's our largest investment. And my rich dad would say, here I'm nine years old, I go, okay, I got it dad, I got it, right? And then I would go over to my rich dad's house and I would say, my dad just said, our house is an asset and our largest investment. And my rich dad would say, well, that's why your old man's not rich, is because your house is not an asset. And if it's your largest investment, you're in really big trouble. And that's when the, you know, the contrast that started to hit me. And then my poor dad always said, do you think money grows on trees? And his favorite words were, and I'd say, dad, let's buy this. He goes, I can't afford it. And my rich dad said he forbade his son and I from ever saying the words, I can't afford it. He said, the moment you say you can't afford something, you know, it becomes true. So the power of the spoken word or your, your thought has the ability to become what you think is real in the world. So if you say, I can't afford something, that becomes your real world or reality. And what my rich dad said instead was instead of saying, I can't afford it, simply say, how can I afford it? Or in school, a lot of times, with, you know, I'd say, hey, Dad, guess what? I'm going to be a millionaire. He goes, you can't do that. And my rich dad said, never say you can't do something. Ask yourself, how can I do it? And he said, and just in the switching of those words, if you say, how can I afford it? Your mind opens up to the possibility. And your mind then has to go to work. This is your single most powerful tool you have is the brain. But if you say, I can't afford it, then the thing goes to sleep and it sits there, goes dormant, and doesn't have to do any more work. It's just you the one who's doing the work then. So those are some of the subtle you know, differences. My poor dad, the school teacher always, so the head of education always said to me, he says, son, go to school, get good grades, get a safe, secure job, high paying job, and work hard. And my rich dad said, that's a good idea if you want to work hard all your life. He says, but if you want to get rich, you have to learn how to have money work hard for you so you don't have to work for it. And you also have to learn to buy companies. Don't be the guy applying for the job, be the guy that's handing out the job. 